Hello, so from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can get rid of fireflies or uh, noise, as we call it in 3D animation, uh, in your from your scene. Uh, this happens when you use cycles, and it's uh, an issue that's been happening for a long time. It happens in 2.78 and 2.9 any version of Blender. Also, my voice sounds kind of different. It's because I'm recording it on my laptop at my job, so. I'm going to try to get this uh, tutorial done for you guys so you can you know, just learn as much as we can together. But let me press F12 just to show you what I'm actually talking about. F12 my keyboard. Let's see what we get when we render this out. We're using rim lighting on our model here, which is lighting that's coming from the back on a reflective surface. And that usually, what's what causes uh, these fireflies or this, these little white patches here, Dots of uh, just discoloration, so to speak, is if you have a really reflective surface or bright lights or the combination of both, you get this little, these little fireflies, as we call them, which makes your render look pretty bad. And there are some things that you can do to get rid of this, uh, but they're kind of time consuming and taxing on your computer. Because what you could do is go to the uh, your render settings. And increase your your passes for your renders but when you increase that it's just going to increase the render time which you don't want so the best way to take care of this when you're in cycles happens only in cycles doesn't happen in EV just in cycles if you go to your layers uh, panel click on that and click on denoise and then when we press F12 again it's going to do its best to clear up those patches by pretty much trying to almost like smear them into the color of your uh, of your of your model sometimes it doesn't come out looking too good but sometimes it does but let's just give this some time to run around let's see what we get from uh, using the denoising aspect or tool in blender and it looks, it doesn't look bad, it looks pretty good. We have some blotchiness going on here, but you can actually kind of set the parameters to what you want it to look like or what the end result you would want to have to be. I mean, this isn't too bad, it's better than the, the fireflies that were there before, but it kind of smears it a little bit to kind of smooth it out so get rid of the, the, uh, the, the uh, patches there, the, the fireflies. And it's the same thing in 2.79 and below. Now the parameters for your noising are here. You can decrease the strength, the feature strength. Let's let's try to decrease the strength a little bit and see what we get. Because when you play these parameters, you can get different, better results. Let's reduce this a little bit. Let's see what we get. Press F12 again. And it's going to try to calculate again and see what it can do to reduce the fireflies or the, the little spots that appear on our mesh. And it also helps when you have a pretty strong uh, graphics card on your um, system that helps kind of speed it up. But it, it doesn't, it looks better. So when you play with the parameters for the denoising uh, tool in Blender, it gets you, you know, better results here and there. But it just gets rid of those fireflies. And 2.8 does the same thing. So it's, it's still a little bit blotchy, but not as blotchy as it was the first time we did it. And as I said, it's the same thing in 2.79. Let's let's escape out of this. Let me open up 2.79 so you can see where you can find the denoising uh, tool in 2.79 and below. I think this came out only in Cycles. So I, cycles came out probably the version 2.55, I think it was. So 2.55 to 2.79, you'd have Cycles. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Actually, we don't have to do the same thing. Just have this in Cycles. And then you go to your layers panel and you know it's right there. Same parameters so you can reduce the strength of it, the features. I've tried some of these and I wouldn't really touch any of this until I've used these before, these parameters here uh, for diffuse glossy transmission and subsurface scattering. And it gets you some really extreme and kind of strange looking results. So I would just kind of leave this alone, leave those as they are and just kind of play with the strength 
for 2.79 and the same thing for 2.8. But yeah, that's how you can denoise and clear up your uh, meshes in Blender easily without having to increase the samples of your renders. And that's today's uh, Blender Quick Tip. And I really appreciate you guys to have subscribed to the channel, <clears throat> those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.